Hello and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use Gumroad. Gumroad helps you to earn online since you can start selling digital products here. You can sell ebooks, you can sell blog posts, and you can sell any other digital product, including video lessons. And that is easy to do with Gumroad. So to start Gumroad, you simply go to gumroad.com and you'll be welcome to this homepage. And then you notice you can be able to sell comic and graphic novels. You can sell your designs. You can sell your fiction books and so many other things that you can do here on Gumroad. So now to set up your Gumroad account, you simply go to gumroad.com. The link is available in the description of this video. And then on the top right corner, you click on login and you can log in with Google, Facebook, Twitter, or Stripe. So if you don't have an account, you click on sign up at the top here. And then the same way you can sign up with Facebook, Google, Twitter, or Stripe, or you can use the email. And in this case, I'm going to be using the email. So you will put your email here and then you put your password here and then you'll click on create account. Then you do the simple verification steps here. It will then send an authentication code to your email and uh, you will go to your email and paste the authentication code here. And then you click on login and that will bring you to this homepage. You, are, you have successfully logged in. So at the top right corner here, we have home. That's the home. Then we have products. And then you have checkout, posts, audience, and analytics. So basically that is how you set up an account with Gumroad. So to add products, you will click on products here, and then you click on new product on the top right corner here. And then you now decide on the name of the product. Let me call this product card. And then you can choose the product type here, digital course, tutorial, ebook, podcast, membership, whatever product this is, you just select one or even if it's a physical good, you can also select that. So I'll select this to be a digital product at the top here. And then down here, I can put the price. Here, you select the currency. And then here you type the price. And, and then after that, you now click on customize at the top here, next customize. And then you can now put all the details of your product here the product is named card so the name here we call it a wedding card and then you give the description here down here so i still type it as wedding card then you can give all the details but you notice you can also add a link you can also insert an image or a video or you can even insert a tweet or even a button here so you put all those details then this is the url for the product, you can copy this URL and then you share it. And then you can also add the cover image here and it should be horizontal and at least 1280 by 720 pixel. So you can upload the image there and then you select where you want the image to come from. If the image is from my computer, I can select from my images, external link or even from Unsplash. So I'll select the image from my computer. I select this image and then I click on open. And our image has been added there and the preview, you can see the preview. You can also add the product info. That is the summary, what you will get. I simply just put a wedding card. You can also add the additional details down here. And then you can do the integrations. You can invite your customers to a circle and you can invite your customers to a Discord server. In this case, I'll leave that closed. If you want to open it, you simply check it this way and then you can connect to Discord down here. In this case, I'll not connect it to Discord. And then down here, you can put the tires. You can add the tires down here. And then the active supporters and then the pricing, which we had already put at uh, 100 per month, which we had put at $100. And then you can keep on making these changes here. You can offer a free trial. New members will be emailed. This product class published post. You can read all this and change depending on how you want your product to be. And then the default payment frequency here, you can change. In this case, it's a month. You can say it to be every three months, every six months, or even a year. So I'll leave it at a month. 
and then you come at the top here and click on save and continue. So now our wedding card has been added. So the only thing remaining here is just to add the content here, enter the content you want to sell, upload your files or start typing. I'll just call it still the wedding card. And then now I can save the changes and then I can click on publish and continue. And there we have our wedding card product added. So this is the preview. You notice our preview is on this side. And now we can copy the URL for that product and it's now copied. And now I can go to any site and paste my link. And so that is how you can add the product. Next, you can set up your checkout and the checkout here, you click on checkout and then you can fill the checkout form here as the second one. You can add the custom fields and then if you are giving any discounts, you can add the discounts down here. Add a discount code field to purchase from. Maybe if only the discount is available, if it's not there, you can click on never. Then you can add the custom fields here, text field, the label, the product. And then after you fill all these, you will click on save changes. And then you can also set up your upsells on the checkout. You can create a new upsell here where you put your name, the offer text, then the offer description, and then you can decide the type of offer. If it's you add another product to the cut or you replace the version selected with another version of the same product, you create that and then you click on save at the top here. You can also look at your analytics for the products that you are selling here. So you click on analytics, it brings you here. You can see the number of sales currently zero and then the views zero and the total is zero. You can set that analytics either daily or even monthly and you can also select the product. In this case, we have only added a wedding card. That is why you can see it here. So if we select for the wedding card, it's the only one that will be selected, but you can also select on all products. And then up here, you can change the dates. Maybe if you want to get the analytics for the last 30 days, the last one month, or all this, you can even do the custom range where maybe you do for the last five days. So that is how you check the analytics. Finally, you can see your audience or your subscribers under audience here, where you can now see your customers here and you can also view your subscribers here. So you simply click on any, that is if you want customers or subscribers and then you are able to see them here. And then you can get tips on growing your audience on the same, same site. So you can also view posts, you click on posts, you can see the posts that you have published. And if you want to create a new post, you simply click on posts, then you click on new post at the top here. Then you decide on who your audience will be. Is it to everyone? Is it the channel that is posted to your profile or all this? So you put your title here, you put your post there, then you can attach the files here. And once that is done, you will click on save. You can also preview before you publish. And uh, once you have saved, you will click on publish here. You can publish now or you can even set a date later on where you just schedule it and then it will be uploaded or published automatically when that time comes. So that is how you use the posts there. For your payouts down here, you're able to again now see how much you have earned, how much you have earned for the last seven days, 30 days, and of course the total. And you can adjust the settings at the top right corner here where you can now set your location. And then you also ensure that you have the prompts here where you can set them. And so down here, you also set your prompts. So that is basically how you use Gumroad. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.